People say we don't talk about Canberra enough, and they're probably right. <laughs> What's there to talk about? Questacon. Oh, that's so mean. I just heard that Questacon, not uh, nearly as good as it used to be. I don't know. I haven't been since I was about 10, so... <laughs> Apparently, it's far less interactive. Oh, um, so, but on non QuestCon conversations, uh, Jared Croker has played game 299 on the weekends. He's now going to be rested against the Tigers uh, this Friday night. So, he could play his 300th game uh, at GIO Stadium. Cooper Cronk, a few other people are coming out saying you've got to have competition points, especially this year when everything's so close. But also, apparently, this has been scheduled for a very long time. Sticky didn't want to say anything because he wasn't sure if there was going to be any injuries and if he, his hand would be forced. What's your initial take on it? I don't see it. Is it being disrespectful to the Tigers? No, no, I don't think so at all. Like, if it was, say, Jack Wyden, who's their marquee man and he's a playmaker, mm. if you're resting him in, you know, in a must win game against a team, I, I still wouldn't think it'd be disrespectful. I think it'd be a little bit silly. Yeah. Um, but. I mean, the only team that it's and the only people it's going to affect are the Raiders. And if all the playing group are happy with it, Jared's happy with it, Sticky's happy with it, I don't see any problem with it. Um, the bloke's been through a lot of injuries. He's given so much to that club over well over a decade now. Yep. He said in the post game press conference, he's spent more than half his life in, um, in the Canberra Raiders jumper. So I think he deserves the opportunity to play his 300th game in front of his home fans. There was a stage there, didn't look like he was going to. Get to that milestone. Um, just Didn't given play his the first five rounds, did he? Yeah, just given his form as well yeah. and injuries over the past few years. They've got some young guys. Um, he didn't look like he was going to get back into the team, but since he has, he's been playing really well this year, Jared. So I've got no problem with it at all. Do you think it's it's disrespectful to Tim Sheens and company? No, I think the only going to Campbelltown Stadium on a Friday night, and I used to live in Campbelltown. I've been there many times on a Friday night is disrespectful to your own body. It will be <laughs> colder than Canberra, for sure. It gets so cold there that you want to hold an icy cold beer just so you can warm up. It is like, it, the wind is out of control. It is a miserable time. Definitely do it at home. I think it's a great idea. Canberra are seventh, uh, second on points. It's a big game for it. It's a game they need to win. You really can't afford to be dropping one, but I think they'll be fine. I think they'll be fine. Like, I think the notion that it's disrespectful from, I know, and Kronk said um, that, you know, that it's so important to win this game and stuff. Look, he's a centre at the end of the day. Yeah. If they lose to the Tigers, I don't think Jared Croker or whoever else fills in there was going to be the difference maker. Goal kicking possibly could be, mm. but look, the only team it's going to affect is the Raiders. I don't see why anyone should be up in arms about it. And if they lose, Ricky will just say, oh, I got it wrong, or... He won't say anything at all. So I've got no problem with it whatsoever. And Jared deserves to have this moment in front of his home fans and his family and, and friends down in Canberra. 